This video is going to show you how to install Clean ROM on your HTC Evo 4G LTE. This is thanks to New Boy X, and it is basically Sense that's themed like AOSP, which is freaking awesome because I love AOSP, and I can't wait for the Evo 4G LTE to get some stable AOKP going on it, or at least most things working. I'm not a Sense fan, but if I'm forced to use a Sense ROM, I might as well use one that looks like AOSP, right? And it looks pretty sweet. So first things first, you want to make sure that you do a full wipe. You click this link, and it'll tell you how to do that. I didn't realize clicking, I thought clicking this one would take you to the uh, page. There's actually a whole XDA thread based on the whole clearing your Google wallet settings, which hopefully I remember to do. I tend to forget a lot when I'm flashing ROMs because <laughs> uh, I have actually ran an RUU and flashed other ROMs without wiping that data and got Google Wallet working again I will definitely try to find a link to how I got it back but it is frustrating and it's much easier if you just clear it first because then you don't got to go through all that crap I went through but anyways you'll want to download the super wipe it's this right here whatever you're using just save it I'm gonna save it to my desktop using down them all then I'm going to go over here and download this ROM. You just click the big download button and I always copy the MD5 and verify it. You do not have to, but it's my choice. So the Evo 4 to e Alrighty, now I am a member. <laughs> oh man. Alright, that's D-E-B-E. -E. What the heck? I don't understand this. D-E. So it's this one right here. And I'm going to click download and then save it. I am very sorry Scott's ROM for using up all that bandwidth just to download the right file. All right, open containing folder, send to WinMD5 sum. Awesome, WinMD5 sum verified that the MD5 matched right here with this one, DE10. But we're gonna go ahead and plug the phone in. It brings up a screen that says charge only, disk drive, USB tethering, media sync, etc. Huge shout out to the person that told me about this. I'm gonna go ahead and put their name up on the screen right now. Pressing media sync will let you access both your internal and external storage inside Windows. See, I click on Evo and then I choose phone. Make sure you choose phone. This is a much faster storage than this and this is a class 10. If you're going to be doing this manually, where you power down, boot in a bootloader, boot in a recovery, install zip, wipe, all that stuff, put it in the root directory, it just makes it easier to find. If you're going to be doing it the way I'm doing it, which is an automated, you set all the zips and it does everything for you method, open up the Goo Manager folder. If you don't have this folder, it's really simple. Open up the Goo Manager app on your phone, download the Google add-ons, or just something random, and it will create the Goo Manager directory. As you see, I already have that super wipe thing that we put on the desktop right here. I'm a huge MD5 checker. See, that one ends in D05. Oh, I can't do that one because it's whatever. Anyways, that's the right one. So we're going to transfer. I'm going to go ahead and do all these just in case. But that one's the one that the OP says to download. And that's the one that the MD5 matches. I figured this would be the perfect time to explain this since searching the forums, I found the answer I was looking for. The DE is the one for developers and it's the one that's desensed. The other one is a sense based ROM and it's completely different than the one we are currently installing. It's funny, transferring to the internal storage actually takes longer than taking your micro SD card out, putting it in a little reader, and transferring it at 15, 18 megabytes per second. Off topic real quick, what I don't get is, you'll notice that there is no safely eject thing for the Evo 4 GLTE, but when I hook up the Galaxy Nexus, it says safely eject MTP. When I hook up my Transformer Prime, I can safely eject my Transformer Prime. So I don't know why it doesn't do that on the Evo 4 GLTE. If somebody can explain that to me, that'd be freaking awesome. And I'd love you forever. Okay, so really you only had to transfer that DE1. Now you're just going to go to your phone and change it from media sync to charge only and done. And now we're going to go to the phone. All right, so we're at the phone and I'm going to go ahead and immediately go to my Google wallet and wipe the settings before I forget. Cause I know I'm going to forget. Press menu, go to settings and then press reset Google wallet. Reset. Awesome. So now our Google Wallet will not be bricked when we flash this ROM. I'm going to open up Goo Manager. 
And since we placed the super wipe and the update.zip in the Goo Manager folder, immediately when we click flash ROMs, they will be available right there. I highly recommend pressing menu, install open script recovery, press yes, and then you want to check and see if that is newer than the one you actually have right now. I know that I have version 2.2 installed, so I'm going to go ahead and press no. If you have an older version, make sure you press yes. Then go back to flash ROMs, and the ROMs that we put in the Goo Manager folder are right there, immediately available without having to look for them. We're going to choose the DE1 and the Super Wipe. Order flash selected. Make sure that the Super Wipe is up top because you want it to wipe your phone. If you're a worry wart, go ahead and press both of these right here, but that right there is going to wipe it for you, so I'm not going to worry about it. I'm going to choose Create Backup, and I'm going to name it Mean Rom. Okay. Oh, I can't have any spaces. Okay. Now flash, and yes. Before it installs any of the zips, it's going to back up your current ROM if you told it to do that. Alright, that is the longest part of this whole process. Now the super wipe's in effect and it's going to wipe everything within two miles. Now you're installing the actual ROM and you're not touching the phone at all. <laughs> Alright, looks like it's done. Keep in mind, this first boot is always going to take longer than any other boot because it's building the cache and delving cache and everything. Every root boot after this one will be much faster. Awesome. We get the jelly bean boot animation. All right, you get the normal ice cream sandwich unlock screen. That's nice. I like that. Go through all these typical screens, select your network. I always get rid of the stock keyboard and replace it with Swift key. Awesome. The screen that says like tell HTC is gone. You don't have that in this ROM. That's awesome. Sign into my Google account, press next. The screen's really dim, so i got to change that. That's awesome. Looks just like the ice cream sandwich launcher. Actually, it comes with Apex. That's pretty cool. When you bring down a notification bar, you got your quick settings to turn things on and off. There's everything you get. Your flashlight, brightness, rotation, GPS. Everything's right there. Looks like with nothing installed, you get about 204 megabytes free. This will take you to your settings. I'll go to the about, software information, there you go, clean ROM DE 1.0. There's the ice cream sandwich clock, Wi-Fi icons and etc. It doesn't look like when there's data transferring it moves up and down, but that may not be something they could control. This is Apex Launcher. I've never used Apex Launcher. I did try Nova Launcher and I really liked it, so this will give me a pretty good chance to play with Apex and see if it's better than Nova. Looks like you get about three rows of apps. You get ES File Explorer, which is one of the best file explorers I've ever used, and I've used several of them. Comes with Holo Unlocker, Evo LTE Overclock. It has root through Super SU instead of Super User, which more and more ROMs for this phone are coming with that by default. I'm not sure why the change, but I've been using Super SU for a couple months now, and I have no complaints at all. I'll use Super User, I'll use Super SU, I don't care. I just want root. And then you also get Wi Fi Tether. So, very minimalistic, which is nice. Doesn't come with a lot of crap. You get your quick settings, all of these right here. Now, I wonder if you're, ooh. Huh? That's different. That still goes to your home. That still goes back. But pressing that takes you to, wow. Huh, where's the recent apps? Oh, I'll bet you you gotta hold this. Okay, sweet. Awesome. So when you're in an app like, I'm going to download Facebook real quick. On any other ROM for the Evo 4G LTE, Facebook has a menu button down here at the bottom. We're going to see if Clean ROM has gotten rid of that. Because some apps like Facebook, for some reason, aren't ICS compliant. And look at that. No menu button. So you're able to use all 4.7 inches of that screen. And if you want a menu button, just press this. That's your menu button. And if you want your recent apps, just hold that and you can close everything out. 
which, coming from the Evo 3D and several other phones, I'm used to holding the home button down for recent apps. I'm used to that. So that's pretty awesome. I like that slick. I'm going to see what all options you get by holding down the power button. Awesome. Recovery, bootloader, all the things you need. This was my video on how to install Clean ROM on the Evo 4 GLTE and a quick look. I'm not calling it a review because I haven't had time to test out the battery life. I haven't had time to see if some stuff works and some stuff doesn't. I haven't had time with it and I can't call something a review when I haven't used it for more than a day. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. I spend a lot of time on my videos. I got videos on different phones and root methods and just posted one on the Transformer Prime installing Jelly Bean. I've got tons of other devices. I'm getting future devices. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button. It helps me out a lot. I recently hit 5,000 subscribers and I cannot thank you guys enough. I wouldn't be doing this stuff if it wasn't for all the support and people commenting and liking and subscribing to my channel. This is what would Josh do and I'm out.